Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another hoarding up video. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. The big new release title that's hitting the store shelves today is A Quiet Place 2, which I'm still waiting on a review copy for, which should probably be in here by next, you know, next hoarding up, which I'll give you guys a review of, maybe, if, if it ends up uh, showing up today. And there's a lot of other titles uh, being released today, like catalog stuff, like stuff that was coming out from the, um, uh, Miramax and stuff like that. But there's one title that's coming out today. Uh, if, if I see it in stores, I'll just get it. It's, it's, a, uh, it's called Studio 54. Uh, an, a film from like the mid-90s and stuff that, that's coming out. I'm looking at my phone right here on Blu-ray.com. Uh, of course, Jan Silent Bob, Clerks is coming out again. Grifters. Uh, you know, the scary movie movies and stuff like that. Marvin's Room are just some of the catalog titles that are being released today. But also, uh, at the end of this video... I have uh, two boxes to unbox for you guys today. This one was uh, shipped to my, my P.O. box. I'll open up that one from Plush Bat Fan. I also got this big, bigger box that feels kind of light uh, that I got sent yesterday, which I'll unbox at the end of this video when I get back home. And also, when I get back home too, I need to figure out how to open this. This is what I got last week uh, when, it, when it comes to Spiral and the Book of Saw. Uh, you know, that, that was sent to me and stuff. I'm going to try to decipher the code uh, that was on that puzzle and try to unlock this little box and see what's inside here. Shall we do it? But let's head on out first. Let's see what we can find today. Well, that's my first stop of the day. Walmart, baby. Let's head on in and see what they got. Made it on over to the movie section right now, seeing what new ones uh, they may have out today. The first one that's standing out to me today is this movie called The Birthday Cake. Uh, starring uh, Ewan McGregor and Val Kilmer. I think I got like a request for this. I don't know if I requested it or not, but uh, yeah, this is a, a new one that came out. I think that's the guy from Sopranos, isn't it? The guy that played uh, Big Pussy or something over there in the corner. I just like, like a, maybe like a mobster kind of flick right there. Really have no interest in that one, but I know that's one of the ones that came out today, along with uh, A Quiet Place 2, which they have a double feature pack of the first and second one uh, out here at Walmart and Blu-ray only. Of course, the DVD and the 4K and Blu-ray right here. I mean, like I said, I most likely will be getting a review copy of this uh, sometime this week, and I'll have a review of this one next week. Maybe, maybe we shall see. But other than that, on the new release rack, I don't see anything that's like standing out to me except for the the, the spiral. Oh, uh, you know, except for you know, the the Quiet Place 2 up here. And um, yeah, this place always seems like they're always trying to put out their movies on Tuesday, like. It's like, what, like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and they still have their card out here? I, I, should, they should, I, should, really call, I, should, I should really call these videos uh, Blu-ray Thursday, because that's when uh, the Walmarts out here actually get all their stuff out. You know what I mean? Like last, it, I, I picked up this one uh, last week, uh, the Wraith. It was $12.99, but I picked it up last Thursday, because they, did, they didn't have it on Tuesday or Wednesday, but they had it on Thursday, so I ended up getting that one last week. For you guys that didn't know but uh yeah i'm not sure if i see anything else that's standing out to me that that i know that came out today or anything like that because a lot of it's probably still in these boxes well didn't come across anything i really needed to get up on in the movie section over here at walmart now in the toy section and i just noticed this these are like re-releases of the mighty Morphin power ranger uh, action figures where you can like flip their heads around to like the human heads and you know the ranger heads and stuff they have the black ranger the red ranger they're all like 984 a piece i think they have the blue ranger in there and the pink ranger uh right there that's retro as shit dude i think these ones are a little bit bigger uh than the ones that came out back in the day but uh that's pretty rad well guys at my next stop of the day goodwill let's head on in just made it on over to the movie section they still have looks like the same same Blu-rays that were here before. This one looks like it's new. Oliver, uh, you know, the musical from back in the day. I think it's like a, yeah, an all region one. It's all shaking around in there. Good musical if you guys have never seen it before. Yogi Bear. But yeah, like I said, some of the same common stuff, but I'm gonna dive into some of the, um, the DVD dizzles and uh, maybe come across something cool or out of print, because you never know. Well, still diving in here, trying to see if I come across anything. A lot of common stuff uh, in here. 
This is like a blast from the past. Like this cover right here, Land Before Time from back in the day. That's kind of rad. Did they, I, don't, I don't know, did these ones ever get Blu-ray releases? At least the first one? This is the original, this is the OG Land Before Time. That's kind of cool. I may, I may, maybe. I, I may get that. I may get that just for the hell of it, just to say I did. Storm of the Century. Man, look what else they got in here. Jackass, the original movie. Who out there is, that's watching this video right now is, ex is excited for Jackass Forever to see the Jackass crew and they're like late 40s, early 50s doing the crazy stunts that they that they used to do back on back in MTV days. I'm down. I'm always down to see that crazy shit. Sucks that Bam Margera is not gonna be is not gonna be in it, but I'm down to check that shit out for damn sure. But uh, yeah, man, who's excited for the new Jackass movie? Let me know in the comments. Getting out of the Goodwill right now. Didn't end up getting anything in there. I, I'm just I'm being more picky now when it comes to uh, what I'm trying to get to try to resell on eBay because it's been sales have been kind of slow uh, lately on there. But if you guys want to check it out, links down below to my eBay and stuff. But you don't 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 feel the need to buy anything. It's just been kind of slow on there. But uh, yeah, I didn't see anything I really needed to get up on. Well, guys, over at my next stop of the day, Best Buy, baby. Let's head on in and see what they got. Just made it on in. Let's see what they have in store for us today. Over here at the Beast, baby. But, uh, yeah, on this side of the rack, not seeing anything different from previous weeks. This side, what do we got going? We do have the Snatch, uh, Best Buy exclusive uh, Project Pop Art Steelbook, which I believe was last week along with the standalone uh, edition. Uh, the movie's cool. Ne it's never been one of my favorites or anything like that, but we do have the uh, Quiet Place 2 Blu-ray, 4K, and the exclusive steelbook, which I think I have the the exclusive steelbook for the first one at home, if I'm not mistaken. And I could be wrong. That could be a regular Blu-ray edition. But over here in this section, they do have more, more copies of A Quiet Place 2 over here. They have a new anime uh, I don't know if this is a series or what called Jojo uh, that's new here from um, I don't even know what company that is and of course we have the new uh, Megan Fox Bruce Willis movie which I hear is doing pretty well on the digital platforms uh, from what, what, I, what I've been hearing from different reviewers and critics and stuff is doing pretty well that, that one came out today along with American uh, God season 3 kind of like that cover kind of like the color palette of that cover right there Never seen the show, so I, I'm not just going to jump up on it or anything. But there was something that I saw some people finding uh, in Best Buys last week that I didn't see in mine, and that was Little Big League on Blu-ray put out by uh, Shout Factory, the Shout Select line. And I, I'm not seeing it in here, but they do have Battle Beyond the Stars Steelbook uh, that's put out by Scream Factory right here. That's kind of cool. Not really. I don't know if I'm really a big fan of that movie. A movie called Held. It says Gripping, put out by Magnet Entertainment. If anyone's seen this one, uh, let me know down below, called Held. That, that one could be interesting, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a day, one, a day one purchase or not. But I'm, I was hoping to come across like Little Big League uh, in here. But you know, I may have to get that shit online. Well, didn't find anything at Best Buy. But at the last stop of the day, Target, let's go in and see what we can find. Coming up on the movie section at Target, and right off the bat, <laughs> looks kind of like Walmart. And uh, might have to come here on Thursday to see if they even put anything out or if they even got anything, you know, worth getting here. What's on top over here? Raya, Last Dragon, Blu-rays. But yeah, a lot of the stores these days, man, they take forever to put stuff out. I know it's due to the pandemic, but... The, the movie selection has not been super crazy, so it's not super, like, you know, jam-packed with movies and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, with releases in the, on the store shelves. But as you can tell, they don't really have much going on in here. They have, like, the Columbo Complete Series uh, set right here for people like my mom and other people that like those kind of shows. But other than that, there's really nothing different here that I'm noticing walking around. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's why I don't really come into Targets that often you know, looking for movies and stuff. Let's see the other side of this new release rack. See if they get all Disney. Anything on the side? SpongeBob one, Defending Jacob, which I believe was like a week or so ago. But yeah, new releases at Target and Walmart. Let's head on home. 
and do some unboxings and some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Let's go. I'm back home now, about to do some unboxings here. Like I said, I have this bigger box right here, which is kind of light, like really kind of light, which I'm gonna open up right here as well, uh, along with this. This came with that Spiral in the Book of Saw uh, 4K set that I got last week. And I, when I got back home, I was just so tired and like overheated and hot, because it it's hot as hell outside. I just wanted to you know, get the video over with. But um, let's open this up, and uh, or try to figure out what the code is to, to unlock this. There's a puzzle I have to solve first, so let's see if I can solve this puzzle. This is uh, one of the items that was in that box, and uh, these are the pieces I'm going to have to solve to make that makes a QR code, as people were telling me, to help me unlock that box. So let me put this puzzle together. Well, just a moment or two later, and I solved this puzzle. It's a QR code. And I see Chris Rock in the middle of it. Now I gotta get my phone and maybe scan this QR code. Let's see if it scans anything and does anything. Okay, so it looks like my code is 514. And it says play me. Congratulations, you've solved the puzzle and unlocked the safe. I'm Darren Bowsman, director of Spiral. And on behalf of the cast and crew at Lionsgate, we hope you enjoy your twisted gift. Aha! What is inside this case right here? We got a cocktail, like wine voucher, or coupon or something, uh, a, a wine list, okay, what else is in here? We got spiral promo code for something, um, cake, what the hell, like little random pieces of crushed cake, okay. I guess these are like spiral tickets for like the movie because I guess this was sent out to people that, uh, you know, before the movie came out to theaters. We got some wine or alcohol of some sort right here. Okay, that's, that's kind of that's that's strange. And a cocktail kit. All right. Well, now that we cracked the code and found out what was inside that saw little case right there, let's move on over to this package. Uh, that was sent from Plush Bat Fan, uh, who's also a person that sends stuff uh, to my PO box all the time, uh, talking about like gas prices and sending cool stuff to the to my niece and nephew, like learning stuff. Which I'm not gonna lie, they don't use but half of that. Uh, they 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 like playing with the globe that that he's the person sent. This one's coming on like a cookie box. So let's see if I can open this up and find out what came to my PO box from Plush Bat Fan uh, yesterday. But uh, you know I'm opening it today. So let's see what this is. What's in here? Okay. We got a bunch of Uno cards. <laughs> a bunch of Uno cards, which I think the babies have already, but they get them all over the house. Thank you again, Pl Plush Bat Fan, for sending on over some Uno cards, even though our family has some, have some already. But let's see if I can get into this box that was sent yesterday uh, from, I think, Paramount. It's like really light. Ugh. Who needs scissors? Ugh. Okay. What's in here? You guys see it first. What is this? Oh. What? No more wire hangers! A, a hanger? Okay. And one Blu ray. We got a hanger and a Blu ray. Okay, I get it, I get it. Mommy Dearest, uh, for the first time uh, on Blu-ray through the Paramount Presents line, Mommy Dearest, and if you guys know the famous line from the movie, like I just said, no more wire hangers! You know, when uh, Faye Donaway plays Joan Crawford, great classic film uh, from back in the day right here. Uh, looks like it has new uh, filmmaker focus uh, feature uh, on here, new commentary track by uh, American Drag Queen. Uh, Hedda, Hedda, Hedda Lettuce? Hedia Lettuce or something I think it says? As like some of the new special features on here. And of course it says Mommy Dearest on the hanger. That's kind of rad. It was, it's kind of random to have it in the box, just like this and this, but hey, what the hell, right? Let's head upstairs and I'll give you my review on uh, Spiral and the Book of Saw. I'm about to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on Spiral and the Book of Saw. But before I get to that, I did have 
Uh, one more package that I forgot to open right here. That's coming from a, this company called Katrina One, um, also known as RLJ Entertainment. So let's see what they sent today. Uh, this one, this movie is coming out on August seventeenth, twenty twenty one, and it's a new Rosario Dawson movie called The Waterman uh, here on Blu Ray. I heard a lot. I heard a lot of decent things. Uh, about this one. I'm a big fan of Rosario Dawson anyway, since the movie Kids and Josie and the Pussycats and of course Rent, uh, where she played Mimi. But uh, yeah, this one um, has has a good amount of people in it. It's uh, certified fresh from Rotten Tomatoes. It's coming out August uh, 17th in stores everywhere with the slipcover here. Uh, expecting, you know, a review or, you know, something like that in the next, in the next coming uh, hoarding up videos or what have you. Definitely going to be watching this one. Uh, the Waterman. Uh, yes, coming out by RLJ Entertainment in like a couple weeks. But now on to the last thing here. My review and thoughts on Spiral and the Book of Saw. As you guys know, Lionsgate sent this to me uh, last week along with that thing, you know, that box I just opened up with the wine and stuff in it or alcohol in it. And uh, this is kind of like, a, um, you know, uh, it's about this guy, uh, this cop, detective, played by Chris Rock, uh, who, um, uh, you know, is, is, is just doing his job, and now there's a copycat uh, jigsaw killer out there killing people uh, one by one, and it's him trying to find out, you know, with, with his team who the killer is, and uh, he just had, you know, he uh, just took on a new, um, uh, you know, a, a new um, partner uh, at, at the team, and it's him and his new partner trying to figure out what's going on, uh, who's committing these uh, copycat murders. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. You have to watch the movie to find out. And of course, the people that are getting killed are getting killed in gruesome ways. And do you want to play a game? You know, kind of thing. Uh, I found this movie to be really enjoyable. I know a lot of people were sh are, are kind of like, sh you know, shitting on it a little bit. Uh, and I'm not just saying I like it because I got it for free or anything. But I really enjoyed the elements that Chris Rock, uh, you know, sprinkled into this movie of comedy. You know what I mean? It's like him, like, you know, as a detective, every once in a while, like, you know, just sprinkling some, you know, one-liners or random, you know, funny little lines or bits and stuff uh, in here. This is not a comedy film by any means. But uh, as a as a Saw movie, it's all right. You know what I mean? I, I didn't like uh, the killer's voice in this one. I'm so used to, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Um... Tobin Bell's character, do you want to play a game? And now it's like, you know, of course, it's a different person, different kind of voice. And uh, that, that kind of just went like, all right. And like the, the killer of this movie, when you watch it and find out, I saw it coming a mile away who it was, you know? But I, I kind of enjoyed seeing uh, Samuel Jackson in this movie playing Chris Rock's father, that, that that's an, ex, an ex-detective and things like that and some of the you know the the kills that they have uh in here are, are pretty gruesome pretty decent uh in in this flick right here it's, it's just kind of cool to know that uh the creators of saw wrote this movie because chris rock's like dude i want to be in this i want to be in a saw movie can you, can you guys do it and they're like dude yes we'll work we'll work around chris rock you know wanting to be a part of a saw movie and chris rock didn't want to like you know overpower the movie with comedy or anything like that he just wanted to sprinkle his little his little tidbits of uh funniness all throughout the movie which i thought was really really well done uh in this flick right here looks looks pretty damn good here on uh, 4k and blu-ray uh get a good amount of decent uh special features in here like some audio commentary tracks by the filmmakers and producers uh of course uh behind the scenes making of uh, which I believe it might be, I think, close to an hour long, or maybe a little bit less. I've just them talking about how the how Chris Rock got involved in the project and everything, which I thought was really kind of cool. But uh, if you're a fan of the Saw movies, you guys might dig this one. It's not like super heavy on the um, like the the traps and the and the craziness. I mean, they're they're in there, but it just doesn't seem as crazy or as over the top as some of the other Saw movies have gotten over the years. And uh, I kind of like this one. I kind of really did like this one right here. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Uh, wet movie stamp of approval here. Except for like, you know, the bad guy character. He was kind of whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, you find out who the bad guy is. It was kind of like, alright, saw that one coming a mile away. But uh, yeah, man, that's my review and thoughts on uh, Spiral and the Book of Saw right here starring Chris Rock. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought about that movie uh, in the comments down below. And I'll see you knuckleheads next week. Or a little bit later on this week. For a new video. Ta-ta.